Hey everybody, Chris with Bear Outfitters here, and today we're going to be talking a little bit about emergency blankets and bivvies and how those things are different, how they're similar, and why I think you should take one with you on every trip. If you want to stick around towards the end, I've got a discount code if you want to order some gear, so I'll get you that discount code towards the end of the video. But let's go ahead and get into it, and I'll tell you a little bit about why I think you should carry one of these things with you on every trip. So the first thing that we're going to break out is the, the space blanket, the really typical, you'll find these for a couple of bucks at Outfitters, even at your local Walmart, they probably have them. These things come in a, a little plastic bag like this, and I'll warn you that once you take them out of this plastic bag, you'll never be able to get them back in the plastic bag. So this thing is really a one-time use item. There's a lot of pros to this. It's going to help reflect body heat back. It's essentially a radiant barrier, and all it does is it pushes your body heat back towards itself, reflects like 95 or 97 percent of your body heat back towards yourself, which is good if you're cold. If you're in an emergency situation and you need to get warm quick, or if somebody's in shock and you need to keep them warm and keep their core temperature good this is a really great option which is why you see them on emergency scenes you'll see them in all kinds of movies uh, and even at the end of like marathons you'll see people give give these out and help keep people warm there is a downside to these though because they are so cheap they're not really made to breathe which can be a problem particularly if you're in a situation where hypothermia is a possibility introducing more moisture via condensation via your perspiration is going to be problematic and here's why the more perspiration that you have, the more your body is going to work to shed that heat and to keep that perspiration warm on your body. So you're going to expend more energy than you would elsewise. The problem with these is that because you end up sweating in them so much, you end up perspiring quite a bit and that has its own set of problems. Really it's not going to keep you any warmer once you start sweating in this thing, which is problematic especially if you're using it in a survival or a crap hits the fan scenario. So what's the solution for that? Well, the solution for that is something just a little bit different, and that's one of these bad boys. So this is a Soul Survive Outdoors Longer Emergency Bivy, and this is their like middle-of-the-road model, and it's essentially an upgraded version of a space blanket. It's shaped kind of like a mummy bag, and originally this thing comes in, it's, it's hard packed in about like this. It's about half this size, so it comes in a hard pack about like this. And then once you deploy it once, kind of like the other space blanket, you'll never be able to get it back in the bag. So the guys at SOL, made this so that the bag would expand so that you can actually stuff this thing back in the bag. So pulling this thing out, I don't know if you can see the difference in the material. It's a little bit different reflective material and that's going to shed again more of that heat back towards yourself but it is going to allow it to breathe a little bit. On the inside you can see that it's essentially the same material as the space blanket and that again causes some problems. Now SOL does have an upgraded version of this. It's more of a fabric material and I'm going to show you another alternative here in just a second. But this is going to be an alternative for somebody that's going to spend a long time outside. So if you're taking a day hike in the back country, I would personally suggest carrying something more like this and less like the space blanket. If you're going to be taking a short hike on a known path close to civilization, close to town, the space blanket is a fine option. If you're going to the backwoods somewhere and hiking during the day, I would strongly suggest carrying something more like this so that if you do have to spend the night out in the wild or out on the trail, you're going to have a slightly more comfortable time and less rustling around as you're trying to accommodate your backcountry shelter. So the Soul Baby comes in at about 105 grams. This is a probably two to three time use uh, situation and that's why I say if you're headed into the backwoods and you need an emergency shelter as part of your 10 essentials, this is a fantastic option. It's lightweight, it's easily deployable, it'll get the job done on a short trip and it's going to be able to do all the things that you need it to do in case of an emergency. Now ideally this is one of those things that you never have to use. It stays packed up nice and small. This is one that I use a lot in demonstrations with scouts to show them a lightweight, easily accessible shelter that they can bring with them on day hikes, short hikes, things like that where they need to have that thing of their 10 essentials but also they don't necessarily need to have a full tent and shelter with them. And then here's the bad mamma jamma. This is the snug pack bivy. Now this thing is a true honest to goodness emergency shelter that's going to be reusable for a long time. Now this thing weighs in at about 300 grams so it's going to be about three times the weight of the sole uh, bivy but it's also a lot more usable and it's a lot more breathable and I'll show you why. So unlike the sole bivy or the space blanket, the snug pack bivy is a fabric material and it's impregnated, I think it's silicone impregnated, but it's, it's essentially a waterproof sack that you can hop in and this one's set up again like a mummy bag and you can tighten it up as tight as you want. You don't want to tighten it up too, too tight because there's a suffocation hazard. So you're not going to want to put this thing over your face and breathe in, but it's going to give you a nice, nice 
pouch to sleep in, basically. It's going to reflect some of your heat back towards you, but not all of your heat back towards you. But the other thing that's nice about this thing is it is very stuffable. So getting it back into its sack after a night in the backcountry is not hard to do. It stuffs essentially like a sleeping bag liner, but it's waterproof and you'll be able to use this in conjunction with a sleeping bag or a quilt if you want to use this as an ultra lightweight shelter in the backcountry for let's say a short overnight or a situation where you know what I don't want to bring a tent but just in case it rains I'll bring something with me that's going to keep me dry. All of these things are really easily packable. I have my day pack here and I usually toss these uh, up in the top pouch with my first aid kit. This one lives in the main compartment if I do bring it along with me. So all three of these are going to provide you the warmth and waterproof ability that will help keep you safe in the backcountry if you do have an emergency. Now, bivy comes from the word bivouac, which is essentially a, a night outdoors without a shelter, right? It's an emergency situation. So really all of these things should come with you as part of your 10 essentials, just in case. Now, there's this propensity among folks to pack their fears, and I'm not saying that you need to pack your fears. I'm not saying that you need to plan to spend three nights in the backcountry. Realistically, if you're out on a day hike and you get lost, you're not that lost. I think that you can realistically plan to get back to shelter, get back to safety by the next day. But there are a lot of search and rescues that go out for day hikers. There are people that are not prepared at all, that don't have shelter, and they end up having a really bad time out in the backcountry if they do get lost. So on any trip, make sure that you plan ahead and prepare. Make sure that you have the things that you need so that if you do run into a bad situation, you can help yourselves and you can help others. So carrying an emergency blanket with you or a, a bivy with you is a really easy way to make sure that you're prepared in case you do need to help somebody else. A lot of the time when we talk about the 10 essentials, people like to rag on it. They say, well, I don't need that because I'm prepared. The 10 essentials aren't always about you. They're about your ability to help others. So not only be prepared for yourself, but be prepared to help others that you find out there on the trail. If you do run into a situation where somebody's going into shock or they're having a bad time or you're having a bad time and get lost, you have the ability to stay warm, stay safe, and keep yourself safe until you can get back to safety or you can get rescued by somebody else. So like I said, I give you guys a little discount code towards the end of the video. The Snug Pack Bivy is available from the folks at Texas Adventure and Survival School. You can pick it up at their website and I'll drop the link in the description below. You can use the code Bear Outfitters for 5% off and that'll get you a little discount that will help cover shipping and get you a little bit off of this sweet, sweet bivy. So, do you have anything that you'd like to see in one of our upcoming videos? If so, you can join the conversation on Facebook. You can join us at www.facebook.com slash Bear Outfitters or you can drop us a comment below. If you made it this far in the video, please like, subscribe, drop us a comment if there's something that you'd like to talk about in one of our upcoming episodes or if you have any thoughts about an emergency blanket versus a bivy. I hope to see you guys out there on the trail and until then, happy trails everybody.